What's up guys, so we finally got title update 3 and a bunch of new info, so let's get into that. First and foremost, the raid is being released on the 16th in just two short days, so that doesn't give us a lot of time to re-optimize our gear after the massive update. The patch notes are up and I'll link those in the description. There are probably over a hundred talent changes that have been gone over before, so I won't be reading all of those to you guys. However, the first two classified assignments have been released. Those are special missions for owners of the Year 1 Pass, giving you special backpack trophies and stories about the fall of DC. Also, a new apparel event is starting, so I'm sure that makes a lot of you cosmetic folks out there happy. Something I'm very excited about that I had not seen before was the inclusion of exotic mods giving better bonuses on your guns. You'll now be able to see what percentages each one of these mods actually gives, as well as every exotic except for the Nemesis having their damage increased. They don't give a percentage for that, but they do for all the exotic mods. Speaking of exotics, it sort of looks by the raid trailer that we'll be getting some more of them, a few returning ones and a few new ones. If you look through, the Hungry Hog is making a return, maybe even the Golden Rhino, and some people are speculating on an exotic holster and backpack. You never know, but it's pretty exciting if that is the case. This update also comes with a slew of quality of life enhancements, as well as changes to the Dark Zone and PvP, with the time to kill being increased and the way normalization works basically getting a complete overhaul. Based on the stats, it could be an entirely new experience. Maybe not, but we can always hope, right? And of course, there's the changes to loot, making it more likely for your gear to drop at 500 once you've reached that gear score by giving you the daily missions that give you 500 gear score items, and Dark Zone Contaminated Drops also guaranteeing it once you reach the cap. When you get the loot, you'll notice that defensive rolls have been significantly buffed, and you'll have the chance to get percent-based armor and health, allowing for tankier builds to start being formed, and viability with them, with the changes to NPCs as well. These things, along with everything that we've been talking about over the past few weeks, make up the update. Now there's a million things in here and I won't bore you with stuff that I've been going over time and time again, but I will be testing this stuff in depth so make sure you get subscribed to see how all the stuff is actually working and go get your gear ready to take on that raid. With that guys, it's pretty much all I have for you in this video. Leave me a comment about how you feel about the update. Like this video, it really does help me out a lot. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.